We're trying to check out the boots. Let's do a little poke around. They got steaks, liver and bacon, salt fish, other stuff. They don't touch up their sign often enough. To the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me? To this city? Hello. Oh, is that a thing I can open? No. Just stands out a little bit. Uh. Hi, dead man. Uh, let's start over here. <laughs> we'll get the dead man in a second. Um. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. What's this? Some sort of note. Freewind orders, 30th of October, from G. McCollum to Dock Patrols. Object. Multiple deaths in the docks region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast. Purge it, and quickly. Warning. According to recent reports, this vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of town, but we don't send rookies to investigate the case. If I'm correct, we've got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places first. Like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the Leech Brothers. These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Is he a heavy drinker or is this just their stash? Oh yeah, you can see the blood track. Nope, nothing there. The western docks. Is that a new area? It's over here. This, this one's... This is the, okay, so western docks is just part of the docks. One continuous thing. We don't know any of the names yet for the other ones, but one of them's healthy. Oop, what was that? Oh, that one does open. It's locked. So much for that. Uh. Hello. Sneak attack time. Sneak attack. Ha! What are you up to? I, uh, hope we were quite certain he was someone we wanted to attack, because we committed. He's down. <laughs> How about you? Do you open up? It's locked, no. Right. Just kind of want to open up the city if I can. Ranged weapons. Equip and press Y to use your ranged weapons to inflict both standard damage and stun damage. Be aware that your ammo is limited. Great. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. I assume that's the other option for offhand. Yep. Used revolver. Warning equipping with the Two-handed weapon will unequip your offhand weapon. Sure. I don't have any other weapon of choices yet, though.
Yeah, thankfully we can heal via our own blood supply if we need to. Enemy card? Press left stick to spot enemies around and display their enemy cards. Oh. So the, the enemy... So what, just outside of combat the card shows up or something? Because I don't think they showed up during combat before. Or was I was I locking on previously with the right stick or left stick? Shit, now I'm, I wasn't thinking about it until now. Uh, some enemies are more resistant to certain types of damage. There are four types of resistance. Melee, range, blood, shadow. Medium resist is orange. Red resist is high. I mean, high resist is red. So this guy is... They just gave me bullets, and the first enemy I encounter is basically immune to bullets, or whatever you want to call that. Uh, so shadow and blood would do a lot of damage, but he's resistant to the two most available types of combat. Okay, I was clicking right stick, which is normal. Oh, you can see the resistance is there, too. They show up by his health bar. But if you want to see his full t card, you do left stick. Then you can display or hide it if you want to. Okay. What about up here, though? Oh. You're very vulnerable to normal melee attacks. Level 5. These guys are all around. If I can teleport, why can't I teleport attack? Is what I wonder. Let's see, so yeah, right, left and around the D-pad, change your weapons. Very familiar to what we've seen before. I only, have a, I only have a handful of shots. Not that that'd be great against this guy anyway. Maybe I can sneak up on him? How you doing, buddy? Ow. That didn't feel very good. Anyone else know his... I don't think anyone else heard that. Neat. Works for me. I'm trying to get good at spotting this stuff, because it definitely... Everything can blur together if, if I'm not careful. I cannot enter. Huh, there just was a dude up here. Uh... Unless I can warp out somewhere, I don't see any good opportunities to attack him from up here, or jump down at him. Looks like he's totally poised for me to... He's totally set up for me to sneak up behind him anyway, though. Unless there's more of them around here. Just saw an opportunity for an easy kill and went for it. Did they just say that's the nest of them cleaned out? Was it me or him that said that? I just saw the subtitle pop up. Does this guy not see me or something? Hehehe. <laughs> God, those are fast kills. But the moment they're dead, you can't drink them anymore. Alright. That doesn't sound like great news. Ooh. Man, you can get around. He seems nice. There's one up here. That's this nest of them cleaned out. All right, it's just a pair of them. I was a little worried about fighting a good group. Are you deaf? Are you deaf? Are you listening? <laughs> oh, are you listening? You may be moderately resistant to swords, but if I just hit you with a lot more swords, then it makes up for the resistance. Yeah. The resistance might not be that big of a deal if... if it might not be that big of a deal if you're fighting one-on-one. -on -one. At least in non-boss scenarios. Used Lupara. 
Now I've got two firearms to compare. All right. Faster reload time, smaller magazine, same firing rate, much higher damage. Like, almost quadruple damage, but the- oh, you lose stun. So this one's a- this one's a damaging weapon, and this is a stunning weapon. That's- that's the- probably the biggest priority between the two. Alright. Stun has its value. Good thing no one heard that very loud impact, or I would have been in trouble. <laughs> Alright. Just trying to reinforce how I shouldn't care about killing you. Oh shit. Dude, turn around. Ow. Nice of you to walk directly into it. Ah, oh, you can see through that. Shit. I didn't think you'd be able to see through that like that. Yum 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 yum. Thanks for fueling my super attacks. Oh, it's not what I was going for. Fire bad. Please don't jump directly into fire, vampire man. You can sometimes open these and sometimes can't. It's gonna drive me crazy when I'm trying to be consistent uh, and thorough. So by default, they don't think I'm an enemy, they just want me to leave. Because I'm just somebody going into a zone where they're trying to do some pirate hunting. And at a distance, they probably can't instantly recognize me as being said vampire. New practices, new tactics. I know that some of our companions consider that the best advantage we have in our fight against leeches is that they can't go out during the day. Thus, we can hunt them down when they hide, powerless in their sleep. This is a rookie mistake. First, because vampires are clever. And they have countless uses and tricks to avoid being spotted in their den. Second, because they deploy many deadly traps to kill any intruders that they, in what they consider to their most precious sanctuary. It would cost us too much men and too much time to explore and eradicate vampires in their hideouts. The best tactic is to follow and destroy them when they really are vulnerable, when they hunt at night. It is much easier to attack them, then, for they can easily be spotted. That's why the guard of Prewin must evolve and deploy new tactics to hunt leeches, small and mobile patrols, tactics based on technological advances, advantages, modern communications. We can learn many things from the war in France. New strategy, new equipment, and new weaponry. Grenades, white phosphorus, ultraviolet light, bulletproof vests, and flamethrower. It is time for the guard to embrace the 20th century. From A New War by Jeffrey McCollum, pre one leader. That's some sound reasoning. They... Because they, the, the idea that the vampires are expecting you to attack them in their den, where they seem vulnerable, and that's why they set up traps. And also, they is their ter their territory, and they know everything about it, and they have every advantage aside from the part where they can't necessarily leave because of sunlight or whatever, unless they have more escape set up. Ooh, somebody I don't know, an NPC wandering around. It's locked, all right. Rats are often located near hideouts. Where am I seeing rats? Oh well, let's focus on the... the local baddie. Oh, that might be the hideout. That guy... does he hear me? Nope. And zhip boom! Yum 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 yum. <laughs> Just gotta keep the meters full. God damn, did they not stand a chance. 
either I've been changed significantly by the advent of my vampire sickness or curse or whatever, or this character already had quite the capacity for violence. He was a soldier, but goddamn, he's like ruthless in wiping dudes out. Oh, I hear rat. There they are. This must be a hideout. Why is it? What was that flickering? Is that just the light outside? Oh my god, that's awful. <laughs> I don't like that at all. What can we find around here? Hey, corpse man. Ooh. Might actually be able to craft something with what I've been getting. Okay, this looks awfully similar to the other stash I was at. The other hideout. I wonder if that's what the hideouts have in common, is there places where the staircase is wiped out for one reason or another? Almost comically. So the only way up is to get to the balcony, which I can teleport to instantly, but for other people it's a bit of a pain. So nothing to analyze. Let's look into the machete upgrades again. You can upgrade your weapon to a new level with the required ingredients. It will inflict more damage and you can also gain access to customization slots. And I do have what I need, so let's do it. Boom. Then I can pick one of these. 10% damage or decreased stamina consumption. Let's go for damage. There we go. That's better, as my achievement says. Seems you can't unlock this any- uh... Can't upgrade this anymore. It's now a common machete. I think it was used machete before. And that's the maximum upgrade for this particular thing, so there's a clear ceiling for how good this gets. How about the stake? Just nice- nice stun weapon. Yeah, I got none of that stuff. I got those, but not that. How about the weapons? Not going so great. Nope. Well, my, me my, my melee weapon's been my primary form of combat so far, so... Having that upgrade, it's great. I have 500 XP, so I, I could get some, like, extra health or something. Or other things. This is 20% more blood, this is 40% more blood. I kind of like having that fill up really fast, actually. Let's kind of commit for this for a little bit. 60% more blood, that's gonna be a bit more. No. Confirm. So every time I go to a hideout to level up, 24 hours pass. Huh. That's weird. I wonder if that's acknowledged in the game at a, in any way. Or if the amount of time that passes in the world affects, yeah, like anything? Or like, does my trail go cold? Can I fail an investigation by going forward in time? Or is the- or is me- or do they respawn enemies and use that as the explanation for why? Hey rats. You- you get to live this time. Rats. Did they actually respawn them all? Okay. So all the enemies respawn. So they're like Dark Souls bonfires, just in case we, we didn't have enough other comparisons to make between the UI and the stamina meter and the lock-on and so on. Or how much this game looks like, uh... How much the setting kind of feels like an off-brand Bloodborne. I could grind, but I'm, going, I'm not going to do that right now. But that, that's the opportunity immediately raised by having them respawn like that. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Until I see other evidence, I'm choosing so far to think that the 24 hours later thing is just an explanation for why enemies reappear in-universe. As opposed to something that actually affects the story. Because you would think the fact that it goes- so much time skip happens would be bad. It's locked. So I can teleport up to ledges, but gates block me. So I can't teleport through gates? I wonder how the teleport rules are. Can I teleport on top of that wall, then jump down? Like... Those questions raise the moment you add this. It's gonna be like the, uh... 
It's gonna frustrate. It's gonna frustrate me a little bit in some contexts because it's gonna be like uh, the uh, the 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 Midna Wolf Link jump move in Twilight Princess that works sometimes but not other times, and it's just whenever the story felt like it. Oh my God, William! A used scythe. That sounds neat. Equip a two-handed weapon and press Y to use its special ability. The scythe, for instance, can be used to parry an incoming attack, inflicting heavy stun damage if timed correctly. Oh. So begins the parry. 99 damage. Very high stamina or cost, as you'd expect. So now I don't have a second weapon. I just have a parry. That's what the parry looks like? Okay. That could be fun. <laughs> Comical weapons, kind of. So it's always a red icon when you can't open it, looks like. Really? Is it the hundreds of bodies? Is that what makes you think it reeks of bloodshed? Oh. William Bishop. William? You don't seem to be yourself right now, William. Oh. How you doing, William? That was the heavy stun, huh? Oh, I think I missed that one. He's not gonna last. Oh no, he ran out of it. There we go. Poor guy. Oh. Another weapon. Now I've got a bludgeon. We're just stocking up on these different weapon types. 65 damage. Also some decent stamina usage. One-handed. Eh, we could look at it at least. Are there... I don't think they're big on weapon descriptions necessarily. No. Nope. Stop. I guess I might as well equip a secondary. Like, take my upgraded machete. And this, put the stake back on. There we go. Now we can, now we can at least hot swap between the two. I heard a voice. He's downed. Who is that you? There we are. It's not too late. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton. Are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul. A kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. 
William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please. I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. And maybe we can find a shirt. Seriously, the look at my fatal uh, wound on my body look is not the best one for blending in. Let's see, this old dead end's here. Can't open that. That door doesn't open. Can't climb that- those- Wow, stairs have a terrible track record in this game. Oh, you can look at his body. And that's also a dead end? Yep. Lead rods. I like that the moment that we became a vampire, we also immediately became an RPG protagonist, and we're like, well, time to steal everything I can find in every room. Unless that was also a trait he had beforehand. Is that a horn? Those are horns on his forehead, aren't they? Or is that just a weird... No, that's a weird split in his hair, isn't it? I can't tell from here. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Ah! That's what the use of the an analysis tab is for. Which, can I view that from here? Or is that only from the other menu? There we go. So it's here. William Bishop's blood. Small tube. We better hope that guy was really far gone and not paying attention. Otherwise, we just outed ourselves as being a vampire in front of him and... And, ex and even said it out loud, which might go bad for us. Power and mesmerize level. Huh. That probably has something to do with how we dominate people. Well, I'll, I'll need to find out what that means exactly, the, uh, the mesmerize level, which is separate from our normal level. Is William in here? There's Sean, Dyson. Is William from- not William, sorry. I'm, I'm looking for the wrong person. Is it Sean Hampton? That's him, right? The, uh, the, f the guy we just saved? to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. <laughs> were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician. Like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! 
I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand traditionally the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. What a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Everything's going over there, huh? Oh, surprisingly little Abbey and dialogue there. 